Hey, welcome to the video. In this video, we'll go over the steps on how to convert a hugging face model to GGUF format. When using applications like LM Studio or Olama, it allows you to search and download an already quantized version of a model ranging from one bit all the way to 16 bits. Uh, but sometimes a quantized version of a model that you want to use is not available or for any other reason, you want to convert a quantized version yourself. In that case, you're in the right place. So let's convert a hugging face model to GGUF format. The steps that we need to perform are, uh, we need to download the model, convert the model to GGUF float 16 or F16 format. And then we need to recontize the GGUF file from step two uh, to a lower precision type. To download a model from Hugging Face, we have two options. The first one is to manually download each file from the repository that we want. Second option is to write a script to download all files from Hugging Face repository for us. So let's do that. I have already run the script, so it won't download them again. Uh, as, you, as you can see, it was really quick. Before we can quantize the downloaded model, we need to find where it was downloaded to. So the Hugging Face Python library will download or cache the downloaded model to dot cache folder in the user home directory. So if I do ls home dot cache, you will see there is a hugging face there. Now let's check out the hugging face folder in cache folder. In this folder, we will find dataset hub and token. Hub is the folder we then need to check out. The two models that are downloaded on my Ubuntu machine are Llama 3.8b and OpenChat 3.6. Let's check out the Llama folder. In the Llama folder, we need to check out the snapshot folder and the cat ID. Uh, once we have located the model, we just need the part to this folder. So we will do PWD and copy the part. Now that we've located where the model was downloaded, next we need to clone Llama CCP repository. So we come to the GitHub repository and then copy the URL. And then we go back to our terminal. I'll start a new terminal. And then I'll make a directory, mkdir, Llama CPP, uh, git clone, and then I'll paste the URL. Now that we've cloned Llama CCP repository, we just need to go to the directory and next we need to create a Python virtual environment. You can either use Conda, I'm gonna use VENV. So it's gonna be Python 3 minus M VENV and dot VENV, the directory that you'll create. Uh, we need to activate it next. So I've got an alias A, it just activates it. Um, I can uh, show you what A means. So if I do type A, it will show this. It means source this command. Next, we need to download um, required Python packages. So we're gonna do pip install minus R rickd. The script that we need from Llama CCP is called convert.py. So let's run that Python convert.py. This is the script that we will use to convert the model to GGUF format. Uh, next step is to write the command to do the conversion. I've already written it here. So it's python convert.py, vocabulary type BPE. For Llama 3 is BPE. It might be different. So you will need to look out what uh, the type would be. Output type needs to be F16 because if it's anything less, the requantization uh, quality would be bad. So it has to be first F16 and then we can use the F16 to other lower precision types. Now that we have the command, we can start the conversion process. I'll keep an eye on the memory. Uh, normally I've found that the GPU memory doesn't go up much, but the system memory is used. Once the conversion is done, the Python script will create the GGUF file within the same directory where the model hugging face model was. So the next step is to use the F16 GGUF uh, file and recontize it to a lower precision. I'm gonna do it to four bit uh, and KM version. From what I've read, KM version has the good balance between the memory usage and the perplexity score for the model. Uh, for the next step, we can either download a release of Llama CPP or we can do a build. Um, so let's download a release. So you can go to Llama CPP, scroll down, click on the release version, the latest one. So for Windows, you would do Windows CUDA, either 11 or 12. I'll download the Ubuntu version, copy link address, and I'll go back to the terminal, do curl, and then do unzip llama, and then you can do go build bin. And if you do ls minus oh you would see that there is a quantize uh, now available that we will use to convert the 16 bit to full bit. So if you run the quantize command, it would list all the type allowed types. So 
they're all the types that you can use. I'm going to use for quantize for km. Uh, the command that I'm going to use to uh, re-quantize is this quantize. Actually, it would be dot for slash dot quantize. And this is where the current uh, GGO file sitting on my, on my machine. And you just need to provide the type. So this is it. So let's run it. So requantization did complete. Next, I'm just gonna check where uh, the directory where the hugging face model is. And then we should see that this is the F16 version and now the Q4. Now we can take this and use it with either Olama or LM Studio. I hope you guys found the video useful. Uh, please feel free to share, subscribe and like. Thank you.